So is the Roma Pass a good option for you? You're gonna find out in just a moment. Hey la, mi chiamo David, and benvenuti sul mio canale, David's Dose of Italy. Hey everyone, I'm David. Welcome to my channel, David's Dose of Italy. And today we're talking about the Roma Pass. This is a card which could potentially save you some money. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the bell because when you do that, then you'll be notified of when I make my future videos and I have a lot more coming. This also helps my channel grow. Number one, che cos'è? What is it? In essence, this is a card that you pay up front and the idea is that it's designed to save you money and also aggravation. Aggravation in the sense that you don't have to wait in line when you go to museums. And it's also good for public transport. In other words, you pay for this card and you have free access to public transportation. You also receive discounts for events, exhibitions, and any other business that participates with Redi Roma Pass. So what that means is that if you're not sure if you can use it, just ask. Number two, per chi è? Who is it for? Now, in order to figure this out, we need to ask ourselves a very important question. What type of traveler are you? Are you the sort of traveler who likes things well planned out? Are you looking for a more cultural experience, mainly in the form of museums, or are you the kind of person who just likes to come to a city, walk around, sightsee, and just see where the wind takes you? Then there's also the question of public transportation. Uh, how much do you think you're going to be using the buses, the trams, the metro? Uh, I think at some point everybody does end up using some form of public transportation here. There were a few things that caught my attention. In particular, you have the Hard Rack Cafe, so you get a discount when you eat there. You have the Sit Company, which is one of the companies that takes you to and from the airport from Tatamini. And you also have discounts on some of, of the uh, bus tour companies, in particular the popular sightseeing one that you see in every single city around the world, and also the big bus company here in Rome. You definitely want to consider this card if you are spending more than, than two or three days here, minimal. Number three, la tipologia di carta, the type of card. So yeah, there are two types. You've got one that costs 38.50, and this is good for 72 hours, and the other one costs 28 euros, and this is good for 48 hours. Number four, come si compra la carta? How do you buy the card? Well, like pretty much anything, you, you can buy them online or you can buy them in person. Personally, I would buy them online. And if you do that, just keep in mind that there is a four card maximum. Something important to remember, if you do decide to purchase the Roma Pass online, please be aware that the only place where you can pick them up are the info points, which you will see throughout the city. The two that you probably will see are by the Colosseum and also at the Tatamini train station. If you decide to pick it up there, then what you need to do is go to Via Giolitti, walk all the way down to where the buses are, and then um, off on the left you will see the, um, the tourist information booth. It is possible to buy the Roma Pass at Termini. To do that, look for any edicola. In fact, there are two Hudson newsstands. You can buy them there. Although I spoke with a shop owner the other day, and he said that he prefers to be paid in cash. Number five, come attivarla? How do you activate it? Number six, il trasporto pubblico, public transportation. The good news with this card is that you can actually use it as a ticket for any method of transportation in Rome. This, is, this includes trams, buses, the metro. The only exception I would make are taxis and actually the intercity trains. When I say intercity, I mean trains that take you from one uh, main train station in Rome to the other. For example, from Termini to Ostiense, from Ostiense to Trastevere, etc., etc. As far as going to and from the airports are concerned, the good news is, uh, if you're going to and from Ciampino, then yes, you can use your Roma Pass. Fiumicina, however, is a different story. You must buy a separate ticket. For more information on that, check out my cards above and you'll be linked to previous videos where I talk about how, uh, going to and from Fiumicino Airport. Make sure that you always carry identification around with you because if you are on a bus and uh, they do a ticket check, they will ask to see 
uh, your Roma pass and also some form of ID. Number seven, saltare la fila, skip the line. I have my doubts whether um, people at museums or any other public places really will uh, let you skip the line just because you have the Roma pass. You'll have to just try it and see how it works. Can you use the card to jump the line at the Vatican Museums? Unfortunately, no, you cannot. As a matter of fact, in order to have any kind of uh, discounts or anything uh, for the Vatican, that this is a whole separate card, and that's called the Omnia card. Number eight, Atrisconti, other discounts. So here's how it works. When you have the 72-hour card, then you are allowed two free museum entrances. If you have the 48-hour card, then you are allowed one free museum entrance. After that, Wherever you go in Rome, whenever you go to other museums, then the discount that you receive is the normal discounted rate even if you didn't have the, Ro the Roma Pass card. The key point here is that having the Roma Pass card, you do get that discount. So it's something to consider if you're trying to decide whether you should buy this pass or not. Number nine, and my last one, i musei, the museums. The following are museums which are covered by the Roma Pass, and these are museums that I have been to personally. The first one, and probably the most famous one, is the Colosseum. So when you buy a ticket for this one, then you have a combined ticket, which allows you access also to the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill Museum. The next one is the Musei Capitolini, or the Capitoline Museum. Uh, this is right next to Piazza Venezia, and it's a fascinating museum full of uh, artwork throughout the centuries. And then you also have the lesser known Ostia Antica. This is a like a little Pompeii almost really. Except for the important fact that it was not hit by a volcano. One final thought I want to leave you with. When you're trying to decide whether or not to buy the card, just please be aware that there are some places in Rome which are always free. Churches are a prime example. When you arrive at a museum and you want to understand if you really have to wait in line like everybody else, you can simply say this, Mi scusi, devo fare la fila? At that point, ask this question, show your Roma pass, and then see what they say. And I'm really sorry that I can't give you a definitive answer whether uh, this pass is good for you because there really is no answer. It depends on you, the traveler. It depends on your needs, how long you're gonna be here, what you wanna see, and most importantly, like I said before, what type of traveler are you? In essence, I believe that the Roma Pass is for somebody who is well prepared and has done their research and knows pretty much what they want to do in this city. If you're still not sure if the, if the Roma Pass is good for you, I suggest going to their website and taking a look at all they have to offer. It's pretty comprehensive. Once you arrive at the Roma Pass website, take a look at the museum section, points of interest and events, and also tourist services. All right, so that's gonna do it for my tips on the Roma Pass. You know, I really hope you found them useful. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. That would make me very happy. Also, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos because I have a lot more topics coming up. When you do these things, my channel grows. As always, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, or if you didn't quite understand something, then drop me a comment below and I'd be very happy to read them. Grazie mille per l'attenzione. Ci vediamo alla prossima. Thanks for watching and until next time.